Here is C melodic minor. So it's basically the minor scale up to the fifth, but then it has a major sixth and a major seventh. This is a very nice scale. It has a very film noir sound, and a lot of the Hitchcock films, Bernard Herrmann, the composer, used this scale a lot. Like in Vertigo, you get this sort of minor chord with a major seventh, so C minor with a major seventh. This is one of the chords that gets produced from this melodic minor scale. You hear it in Vertigo where he basically takes this chord and arpeggiates it in opposite directions. Another chord that's derived from this scale is the minor 6 chord, so C minor 6. Looks like this, a minor chord with a major 6th, and this is a great ending chord. Just arpeggiating a minor 6 chord, and the minor 6 chord is very similar to the minor chord with a major 7, which we just looked at. You can create all sorts of patterns with this major 6th and major 7th above a minor chord. You also hear this chord at the end of the James Bond theme, you know, when he shoots the gun. There's this chord, it's an E minor chord with a major 7th and a 9th. Transposed into C, is a C minor chord, major 7th and a 9th. And again, this is the sound of the melodic minor scale. Very nice scale. You can play this over the one chord of a minor 251, at least if it says C minor major 7 or a C minor 6 chord. So over the C minor 6 chord, it sounds great. It also works great when you're using block chord textures. It's a nice compositional technique. You just enclose every chord with an octave, and then you just fill in some of the chordal tones in between. Now it would be rare for a composer to use the melodic minor scale to write an entire piece of music. It's more like a flavour that you can use for just one chord, often the ending chord. 